So today, I'm going to ask you a question. What is a period? Go on. I'll wait. I mean, we've talked about delaying periods and irregular periods and period lengths, but seriously, other than the fact that it's, oh my God, I'm bleeding, what exactly is going on in your body when you get your period? Well, you see, your menstruation cycle is a part of your reproductive cycle that basically means that you become sexually mature when you first get your period. Average age is about 12 or 13. That means your body is now able to get pregnant. You're gonna keep getting periods till about 45 to 55 when you hit menopause, which then means your body cannot reproduce anymore. So during your period, you're gonna bleed from your uterus through your vagina. Uh, remember in the last episode when we talked about uh, eggs and fallopian tubes? Well, your, during ovulation, a single egg is going to burst from the ovary, travel through the fallopian tubes, and into the uterus. The lining of the uterus, which is called the endometrium, has been thickened by hormones and is basically ready to be fertilized. So, if there's a sperm waiting for it, you know, well, great. Or maybe not great if you don't want to get pregnant. Uh, so if there's not a sperm waiting for it, that basically means that your endometrium lining is going to slip away and shed, aka your period is going to begin. So the stuff you're actually passing through your period is that endometrium mixed with blood, which is caused by the blood vessels that are breaking within the endometrium. Get it? You get your period because you are not pregnant. If you are pregnant, then you don't have a uterine lining to shed because you need that to nurse the embryo. So that's why not having your period can be a telltale sign of pregnancy. Pretty crazy, eh? So that is basically what your period's all about in a nutshell. Of course, there are other factors, but you know, I'm hungry and I gotta go to lunch. Uh, since it is hormonal, you're gonna have different durations and different period lengths and different blood flow, but you don't need me to tell you all that because you've watched my other videos, right? Right? Well, if you haven't, uh, please subscribe to MDIL and stay tuned because you can email me here, you can SMS me here, and you can look for me on the next episode. <laughs>